It is finally here, the 2021 digital planners that I have been working on. everyone i am so excited for today's video because today's video is going to be about the 2021 planner launch it is finally here the 2021 digital planners that i have been working on for the last few months i'm so excited about this release of the planners because i have some really cool features that i haven't otherwise included in my digital planners so let's go ahead and jump into this video i don't want this to be a super long intro because i have loads to show you for the 2021 digital planners okay so let's jump into this i have my ipad here and what you're going to do is if you're going to buy the 2021 planner package off my etsy you want to make sure that you are actually using the etsy.com safari browser this is so you can access the download links you'll just click this sign in button up here type in your etsy account information and then go under purchases and reviews and there you will be able to access the download links unfortunately the etsy app currently does not support downloading your digital downloads through the app so that is just something that i wanted to bring up once you download it you'll actually have like this little download button here pop up in safari and where your files will be will actually be in this files app on your ipad so if i click this and go to my downloads folder then you'll be able to access all the things that you downloaded from the safari browser so i went ahead and just pulled in all the files into my downloads folder just to kind of show you where it would be and what it looks like okay so kind of a number of restrictions on the amount of digital files that i can upload and so a lot of the files will be zipped so you will have a file called individualpngs.zip file and this is going to be all those singular sticker files and then you're going to have a zip file for either the landscape planner or the portrait planner depending on which one that you choose and then you will have a dot goodnotes file which you'll actually just import directly into goodnotes and then it'll also come with another PDF file, which is just the guide. So I have the 2021 landscape planner guide, but if you buy the portrait version of this planner, then you will have the portrait version of the guide. So just to start, I'm just going to tap all of these zip files and they will automatically unzip the file. And I am going to just open up the landscape planners just as an example. So you'll see that once you purchase a planner, whether that be the landscape or the portrait version, you're actually going to get five different landscape planners. And they're all the same. They have all the same templates. They all look the same. The only difference is that the accent color of the planner is different. So for instance, you have a gray landscape version but it's also gonna come in blue, pink, purple, and yellow. Another thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to bring up on this main page was that these planners are actually gonna come with separate covers, separate PNG file covers. I don't have them currently in my downloads folder because I already have them on my camera roll, but whenever you purchase them, they'll be zipped in a file as well. So let's go ahead and import our planner of choice. I'm just going to go with the 2021 landscape gray, but the instructions will be the same no matter the color or planner style that you chose. So you're going to click this little up button here in the top right hand corner, and then you're going to have a bunch of options of what you want to do with this. So you can actually save it to your Dropbox, your Google Drive. You can import it directly into GoodNotes or the app of your choice or airdrop it. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually click the GoodNotes button and I'm going to import it into my GoodNotes app. So you can change the location if you need to and you want to make sure that you're importing it as a new document. Just in case you already have a document open, you don't want to import it within the document you may have open. So I'm going to click import as a new document. And so now we have our 2021 landscape digital planner uploaded into our GoodNotes app. So I'm actually going to go back to the downloads folder and I want to show you some of the other colors that I created for the accent colors. So here is the blue accent color. You can just see that the outer rim of where the tabs are is just the difference in color. So I have blue. I also have pink. So I have this like light baby pink here. I have this purple. Purple is my absolute favorite color. I love this one. So there's the accent color for purple. And then I have a yellow. So there's the yellow accent color. 
And then, uh, as you all have already seen, here's the gray accent color, which I think is really nice. The gray, I think, will be especially helpful if you want to import a lot of different colors and a different stick of styles because they will all kind of go with that planner as well. All right, so now I want to import some other things just to show you all. So here's the individual PNGs. Like I said, these are just the individual stickers. You can save these to your Google Drive. You can save them to your camera roll. You can even leave them in the iCloud Files app if you wanted and just import directly from here. However, if you are a GoodNotes user, you can just import the pre-cropped GoodNotes file as usual, I'm just going to select this. I'm gonna click this import button up here and then import it directly into GoodNotes. So I'm actually gonna import this as a new document and save it into my stickers folder. And then I can back out and go into my stickers folder. And I already had this imported, but it just imported another copy of it. This is actually what the pre-cropped sticker file will look like. So you can open up your toolbar and move these around. You can click copy and then pull it over into your digital planner if you want by pasting, like so. Last but not least, I want to import our landscape planner guide. I made guides for these planners and I'm so very excited for these planners because I created a new planning system within these 2021 digital planners to kind of help you guide and plan your goals and your to-do list for the year. So I would go into the nitty gritty of importing your planner, adding the covers, changing the pages, and then the last few pages are actually how to plan, how can you effectively use a digital planner and whatnot. So I'm really excited about this guide. You're gonna import it the same way. This is just a PDF file. So I will click this up button again and then just copy it over into GoodNotes as a new document. So here is our 2021 planner guide. Awesome. Okay, so I just wanna show you a few features of your planner. So if you are new to digital planning and you are new to the GoodNotes app, you wanna make sure that you have this no pen tool selected here. It's in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna select this, the toolbar will disappear and then you can click any of the links. So before we jump into the actual digital planner and what's all included, I wanted to show you how to import and use the covers. So I actually have the covers already saved to my camera roll. So we are gonna scroll back up to those. So I have covers for the portrait version and the landscape version of this planner. You're gonna have five different accent colors for a planner and six different covers to choose from. So here is the black. I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but it has this really nice leather texture. And then in the bottom corner, it has 2021 embossed in it. So this is the black cover. Here is the cover in pink. A cover in a light gray color purple, yellow, and teal. And so these are just the landscape versions of those covers as well. And these are just going to be picture files that you can either save to your camera roll or anywhere on your drive and then import them as their own separate page in your digital planner, which I will show you. All right, so going back into our GoodNotes file. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click this plus page button here in the top right hand corner. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna make sure that I have the before option selected because this is the front page of my planner and I want my cover before that. So I'm actually gonna come down here and select image because I have mine saved as an image on my camera roll. So then I'm just going to scroll until I find my covers that I saved. So I'm just going to actually import the purple planner cover. And so now you will have the purple cover imported as your cover for the digital planner. So if we back out of this, you can actually see the cover as a thumbnail for your planner this year. So I'm gonna click that. And so this is the main page of our planner itself. If you have purchased my student digital planner, you will notice that the design is very, very similar. I had a poll on Instagram on what you wanted to see out of the 2021 planners this year. And all of you, most of you have voted for a more minimal design and without rings. And so I happily obliged. So on the sides, we have January through December. And then at the top, we have a house icon, which will bring you to the template library. We have a flag and a bookmark, which I'll get more into later but that's the new planning system that I put into this planner and then we have this calendar view which takes us to our yearly overview page 
Then we have tabs one through eight, which you can designate as whatever you want. So if you want to have a finances section or a goal planning section or whatever, you can do that with these blank tabs up here. So with our template library, we have our normal blank pages. We have the blank white page. We have a line page, a grid page, a dot grid page, hex grid. We have kind of a more journal template style, a notebook style. And then we have Cornell blank grid and lines. I also have organized the template library by style. So we have a trackers and organizer template section. We have a health and wellness section, academic sec section, finances section, goal setting section, and more calendars and planning type templates. I also have custom pages for you. So if there's a particular layout or insert that you either purchase from my shop or another, and you really like it, you can actually just paste it onto these blank pages and then duplicate that page wherever you want in your planner. And then of course, as usual, I have all of my social links down here in the corner. You can access me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, of course, my Etsy shop, my Pinterest, and the help desk of my website. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of just get into what the tabs are. So the home button will obviously bring you to this page. I'm gonna click my flag here to show you about the new planning system. So you will start this at the beginning of the year and it kind of just is a guided planning session. And I will talk about this in later videos, of course, but I really encourage you to go through and read this and really sit down and think for yourself what you want to plan. So my five steps of my new planning system is to refine and vision. How satisfied are you with each area in your life? What are your biggest opportunities for growth? What are your biggest opportunities to improve on? You're just gonna write down these simple facts about where you wanna be in the next five, 10, or 15 years. Or if that seems difficult to you, you can do kind of like an anti-vision where don't you wanna be in five, 10, or 15 years from now? And then once you've done that, you can move on to step number two, which is your non-negotiables in your top three. So what are your top three things that you want to focus on every day, every month, and every year? And these are really going to come from your visions or your anti-visions in step number one. In step number three, you're going to develop routines where you will accomplish your non-negotiables in your top three daily, monthly, and weekly. So you're just going to reflect on things that are for your ideal yet realistic routine, maybe things that you should adopt, maybe things that you shouldn't have as a routine. So you'll get into that in step number three. And number four, I like to call this the revisit step. And the revisit step is kind of holding yourself accountable. Of course, you've developed these wonderful routines, these wonderful schedules, but how often are you actually sticking to them? So I've created kind of checkpoints in your planner to make sure that you're actually reassessing where you are making changes where you need to. And then number five is obviously my favorite is the create step. So now that you have refined and envisioned where you want to be, had uh, decided on all your top three, your non-negotiables, developed routines, made sure that you revisited all those steps. Now you have time to actually decide is what I'm doing aligning with my short and long-term goals? Am I really creating and giving back to whatever my mission is? So that's something that I really like in the create step. So this is kind of just kind of a guided page under this flag icon here. And then if we go into the bookmark tab, so this is really just getting more down into the actual steps of my planning system. So this is kind of your goals, routines, and checkpoint create pages. And so you'll have a chance to write your goals and create little progress goals so you know, okay, if I achieve this, then I know that I am working towards my goal because you wanna create a tangible, realistic, and measurable goal. Then you can develop your routines here in this section for your days, your weeks, and your months. You're gonna create revisit checkpoints so I know I should revisit my goals after X amount of days or X amount of goals completed. And then you're gonna go and write in any skills you wanna learn or things that you wanna try in the create section. And these do not have to directly align with your goals. It's, on a, it's honestly something that you can just do for fun as well. So that is this bookmark page. Then if we go into our calendar overview, and what's great about the yearly overview page is that all of the days and months are clickable. So if I went to my yearly overview page and I wanted to go to the 22nd of April, I could just click and it would take me to the daily page of the 22nd of April. So this is what your daily page looks like. I have your top priorities here in the top 
corner, your tasks, your schedule, and then a blank dot grid space for notes or sketches or whatever. So then I'm going to go back to my yearly overview page and you can actually just click the month April and it would take you to the monthly page. And so this is what the monthly page for April looks like. You can click any of these days and they will take you to the days. And then the boxes here on the left hand side take you to the weeks. So let's just click a week. So this is what the weekly page looks like. I have your top three non-negotiables or tasks up here on the top. I have blank space here for you to write in appointments or deadlines or, you know, just whatever you need in the center. And then down here, I kind of have a tasks where I envisioned you writing your to-do list. But obviously, you can really make this template your own and do what you want with it. So that is our daily, monthly, and weekly pages. Obviously, we can click any of these tabs here and be brought to the monthly page as well. All right, so let's go back to our template library and just go through the templates here. So I'm not gonna go through the blank pages because those are kind of self-explanatory what those are. I'm just going to kind of scroll through all of the templates here. So I'm just gonna start with the password keeper and I'm just gonna scroll through the planner templates. Okay, so those are all the planner templates for this digital planner. And I just wanna show you how you can use and move around these templates within your planner. So the easiest way that I think it is to use these planner templates, so let's say that you wanted to create a finances tab for spot number one. I'm just gonna open up my toolbar. I'm going to get my text tool out and make a little finances tab. And then I can just put it there if I want to. I have an extra line, but that's okay. Okay, so now that I have my finances tab, let's say that I want to use this daily finance tracker within the planner. So what I think is the easiest way is actually to click this um, up button here and click export. I'm gonna export this as an image and save that image to my camera roll. Alternatively, you can take a screenshot of this page then I'm going to go to that tab and I'm going to open up my toolbar. Didn't mean to click that. I'm going to open up my toolbar, go to the image button and then open up my image here. I don't want to get the tabs and the image so I can still click them. So I'm going to click crop and just crop those out. And then I can just resize the template as I need it. And there I have my finances tab. So if I were to go off and let's say I'm in May and I need to access my finances tab, I can just click this and I will have that tracker like I need it. So I'm just going to delete that. So that's how you would add a page to wherever you want within your digital planner. So I hope you all enjoyed this 2021 planner walkthrough. I am so, so very excited for this planner and the potential that it has. I'm so, so, so excited for you to share your planner spreads with me, either on Instagram or Facebook and tagging me in your post. So, so, so excited to see what you come up with. I did wanna show you real fast the stickers again. So the stickers actually match the cover options. So there's a lot of options. I added very basic and versatile stickers. So you can use these throughout your planning spreads. I'm so, so very excited for the 2021 planners. I worked really hard on them. So I hope that you enjoy them. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments down below or by email or SC messages if you've purchased something from me there. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you like the 
minimal and kind of sleek uh, digital planners that came out for this year. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy your new 2021 digital planner. Let me know if you pick up one for yourself down in the comments below. I would love, love, love to chat with you. I'm so, so excited about these new digital planners and all the features that are coming with them. So with that, I will leave you with, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please like and comment on this video. It really does help me out and increase my engagement of the channel. And honestly, I can't thank you guys enough for all the engagement that I do receive from you all. So thank you for that. And I will see you next week with another video.